Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Hello, Hello, Miss. Hey, good yeah. evening. How good have evening, you been, guys? Good evening. Welcome, Diana. David, welcome. Maria Padilla. Maria Zulma, welcome. Claudia Carolina, who else we have? Betsaida and Fatima Larissa. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you one more night, one more session. How was your day? How's your day going? Everything good? Everything is nice? Yes, you had a good day? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Yes. Very good. That's nice. All right. Yesterday, right? Remember, with, we continue with there is and there are. Eh, with some quantifiers, right? Like a little, a lot of, and some more quantifiers that it depends on the noun that you want to express and also depend on the quantity that you have. We have here a short paragraph. The one we are going to read first, then we are going to practice it. And it says, I live in a very nice neighborhood near my office. So I walk or ride my bike to work every morning. It's a very green area with many trees and a small but beautiful park. It's also very convenient. There is a shopping mall behind my building. In the mall, there are two drugstores, a bank and a grocery store. And there is a cafe with great food and good prices. <clears throat> I get coffee there every morning, but there isn't a library, and most books at the bookstore are expensive. Oh, well, nothing is perfect. All right, now tell me, do you have new vocabulary from the paragraph? <clears throat> tell me, Wilfredo. <clears throat> I live in a very nice neighborhood near my office. Office, very good. So I work or ride my bike to work every morning. Mm -hmm. It's a very green area. Area? With area, area with many trees and a small but beautiful park. Thank you. Very good job. That's nice. Maria, continue, please. It's also. Um, it's also. It's also very convenient. 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 There is a shopping. A shopping, shopping mall. mall shopping mall. But behind. My building in the in the mall there are two drugstores. Mm -hmm. Two drugstores. A bank, a bank. Good. And a grocery store. A store. Very good. Thank you, Maria. That's good. Fatima, continue, please. And there is a coffee, a cafe, a cafe, cafe. A cafe mm -hmm. with great food and good free price. Prices. I get, price, I get coffee there every morning. But there is a library and much book, and the, at the bookstore are expensive. Oh, well, nothing is well. Fair. Oh, well. Oh, well, nothing is perfect. Very good job. That's nice. Great. Okay. Do you have new vocabulary here? <clears throat> A new words for you? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, Drugstores is like a pharmacy. It is. They are synonyms. Just that okay. pharmacy okay. is not very common to use. It is more common to use as drugstore. Oh, okay. they're synonyms. 
Thank you, thank you. My pleasure. Any other question? All right, then let's continue with the next part. I need you to write a short paragraph about your neighborhood. That's why it says here in part A, read this paragraph Kay wrote about her neighborhood. So part B says, now write a paragraph about your neighborhood. Describe what type of neighborhood it is and what places are or aren't in your area. So write that short, not very long like this one, short paragraph. Take your time to write it. Un párrafo corto, a short paragraph. I need you to write. Write only like three lines, three lines. It's not a big paragraph, just that three lines. So you are going to describe what type of neighborhood and you can say, start like this, right? For example, if you say, I live in a nice neighborhood or I live in a small or big neighborhood near, probably it can be uh, near the near my, my work, near the company, near a restaurant. Describe if you walk or if you drive a car to go to work. I'll give you three minutes, three minutes to write your paragraph. Questions about that? Question about the activity? Is it clear? I will describe my neighborhood. Exactly. Describe it. But just write three lines. Three lines. Okay. Uh -huh. Describe it. The things that there are, the things that they, there are not in your place. And you have three minutes to write it. After that, you are going to read it. All right, good, Wilfredo. Very nice. Really good. Something else. Write more. Write more on your notebook, and then we're going to read it for everybody. In my neighborhood, there is a bakery and a pharmacy. There is good transportation service. Route 44, 30 B and 1. In my neighborhood, there is a bakery and a pharmacy. There is good transportation service. Route 44, 30 B and 1.
Okay, let's begin now. We're ready. Who finished? We read about Wilfredo. Wilfredo, can you read yours again, please? Read it. We want to listen to you. In my neighborhood, mm -hmm. there is a bakery yes. and a pharmacy. And a pharmacy. Very good. That's good. Those are the places. That's nice. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Who else? Tulma, did you finish? I can do it. I yes. sure. Go ahead, Marvin. Okay. I live in a great neighborhood. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, we can out by the afternoon or night for a walk. We have near grocery store, bakery, pharmacy, and a lot of places more. Uh, very good. That's nice. Thank you, Marvi, for sharing. Really good. Nice. Who else? Sulma, you finished? Yes. Go ahead. Share it, please. Okay. I live in, I live in a very nice place because... I walk three minutes to I take walk? the bath. Oh, for I three mean, minutes. Uh, for yeah. three minutes. Okay. For three minutes to take the transportation. The ah, bath. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a very green area with many trees. Mm -hmm. And there is a supermarket behind my house. And there are one school in front of my the park. There is one school. Yeah. Ah, very good. There is one in school. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. Very good, Solma. That's great. Good. Let's continue. Thank you. Who else is ready? Me, teacher. Go ahead, William. Yes. <laughs> I send my, uh -huh. my yes, paragraph. Yes, I see you on the, on the chat. Yes. Can you read it, please? <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I I live in a very communicative neighborhood. All the people want to know about the life of the other people is always. That's good. That is very normal, right? The gossip, the gossip, they love. <laughs> now, you can write here communicated like this. Communicated. I live in a very communicated, right? Neighborhood. All okay. the people want to know, right? That's thank good. you, thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you so much. That's great. Okay. Someone else? Me, teacher. I want to try. Very good. Go ahead. Um, I live in a big neighborhood. It's very nice. It's near to some stores and I have a big park. I ride my, ba my bike to go to a store and I drive my car for my job. That's away from my neighborhood. That's really good. Thank you, Andrea. That's nice. Nice paragraph. Cool. Who else continue? <clears throat> Who else want to try? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Thank you, Daisy. In my neighborhood, there is a little church and park mm -hmm. in the main street. And recently opened a pizzeria across from the town hall. Yeah, right. Yes, so there is a pizzeria there. Do you often buy pizza there? Yes. Yes, excellent. That's <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Nice. Just that don't mention in Main Street, but you say on Main Street. On Main Street. You use this preposition. That's right. Thank you so much. Okay, somebody else wants to try? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Margarita. Go ahead. Uh, I live in a beautiful neighborhood, but it's very far from my job. There is a pupuseria in front of my house. Uh, there is a drugstore at the end of the main street. There is a library. I like to go for a walk with my dogs in the park behind my, ha my house. And uh, there is one school in front of the park. Very good job. Nice. Great. Just some detail. Instead of saying from my job, you can say from my work because we say work is like the area where you work. But job is like the principal activities or the specific activities that you develop in your work. Very good job. Thank you. Nice. Someone else? Who has wrote here? Okay, Wendy, I understand. Thank you. 
Okay, someone else? Wants to participate? Teacher, no yes. sé si me voy a enfocar. <laughs> Hello, tell me. <laughs> okay, I live in, in a wonderful neighborhood because I work and I pay pupusas in front of my, my house. And my neighborhoods are very nice person. So uh, there is a, a school uh -huh. around my neighborhood. Hmm. I have a, there are two malls. There, uh, there are two malls. Two so malls. In my neighborhood, there are two malls. My Substitute I have because you're going to use there are. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, there are two more. Two more. El encuentro. El encuentro. Ah, okay. Um, no me recuerdo cómo se llama. Premium, Premium Plaza. Premium Plaza. All right. Interesting. Oh, so you have a very, it's very accessible. The places yeah. where you are, you live very close to those areas. Only that, teacher. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. That's very good. All right. So mention there are very nice persons or you can say also there are very nice people the two forms will be correct thank you so much good someone else <clears throat> someone else wants to share daniela <laughs> uh, yes i live in, in a calm and good neighborhood all is near my house, drugstores, supermarkets, schools, hospital, the kindergarten my son present is in front of my house. Uh -huh. But there isn't a, but there isn't a beach. Ah, there isn't a beach. That's very good. Good. Really nice. Just one point. You can say instead of saying the kindergarten of my son, you could say my son's kindergarten. First, you mention the person, right? And then you mention here, like, what is the, the relationship or the connection or possessive form that you include. Thank you. That's really nice. Great. Someone else? Eric? Yes. Hello. I work in very nice neighbor. Aha. Uh -huh. I work. Work or live? Uh, work. 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 Yes. Work. All right. No, good. No, 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 Miss Trabaja. Oh, I, work. I, work. I work. Aha. Uh -huh. In very nice. In a very nice. Neighbor. Neighborhood. Mm, I go work. Aha. Uh -huh. I go for a walk. Uh, every, every morning. Mm -hmm. I go for a walk every morning. Every morning. It's um two parts. There are two parts, right? Existency. There um, are two parts with many trees. With many trees. All right, very good. And many people All every right. day. That's good. Is in front of it's a in beautiful front. park. A beautiful park. It's in front of a beautiful park. Uh, there is a shopping every day. Mm -hmm. Do you go shopping every day? After my work. Ah, that's good. So I go shopping. Every day after my work. Okay. Yes? Yes. Very good job, Maria. That's nice. Thank you. Someone else wants to share? Okay. We got this exercise. Congratulations. That was very good how you express it, how you write it. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead then with another activity here. We have a, also a short conversation. And this one is, it's very convenient. It's a conversation between Barry 
and Alana. It's similar than the conversation that we watched in the video yesterday and we also practiced. And it says, how do you like your new apartment, Alana? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown. Is there much traffic? Yeah, there's a lot. But I don't drive, so it's okay. Oh, that's right. Is there much crime in the area? No, it's pretty safe. The difference is the noise. Really, is there a lot of noise? There's a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. Oh, that's too bad. But is the food at the restaurant good? It's incredible. Hey, would you like to have dinner there on Saturday? Yes, I love Italian food. Any new vocabulary here? New words that you need to know? Noise. Noise. What's noise? When it's not calm. When it's not calm in a place. So when you say that it's silent and suddenly you start, blah, 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 that is noise. Ruido. As the city, right? You know, normally the city, there is a lot of noise. So there is no silence. It's noise. Any other word? <clears throat> downstairs downstairs you have the stairs right well when you go up from one floor let's say that you got to a building and this building it has like two or three levels to advance to the other level you need to go upstairs now if you are on the second level and you need to go down then you go downstairs Alba okay thank you yes the downstairs. Okay, let's practice it then. Let's begin, Daisy, Barry. The microphone, please. Yes. Uh -huh. How do you like your new apartment, Alana? Apartment. Apartment. Very good, thank you, Margarita. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Really good. Thank you, Selena. Downtown. Is there much traffic? Much. Much traffic. Much traffic. Very good. Thank you, Betsaida. Yeah, there is a lot, but I don't drive, so it's okay. Very good. Thanks, Fatima. Yes. Ho. Oh. Okay. Oh, Fatima, oh, Larissa? See? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right. It's very much crying in the area. In the area? Area. In the area. Very good. Thank you, Wilfredo. No, it's very safe. Pretty the difference, safe. Very safe. The difference is the noise. Very good job. Thank you, Daniela. Really? Is there a lot of a lot of noise? Thank you. That's a right. Good one. Marvin. <clears throat> there is a lot on the weekend from the Italian restaurant downstairs. 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 Very good. Thank you. Eric. Eric. Freddy? Oh. Oh yes, you can listen. Very good. Eric? That's too bad. Mm -hmm. But is the loot of the, the restaurant food? good? The food? Is the food? Oh, but it's the food at the restaurant good. 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 Thank you. That's good. Freddy, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay. Incredible. Hey. hey. How do you like to have this there on Saturday? On Saturday. Thank you. That's right. Good. Jennifer? Jennifer, are you there? Roberto? Estela? 
No, sorry, Roberto. Yes, go ahead, continue. Yes, I love Italian food. Italian food. Very good, guys. That's right. Thanks. Okay, so after this practice of this conversation, now notice here that there we have the use of the is and there are. Now, let's continue here, but including some of the other quantifiers. Let's remember here which are some of the nouns. For example, we have bread in the one. We can make an, a specific quantity using a lot of, right? This one is not a lot of, it's different. The quantifier here will be a lot of, but this one is like the quantity of bread. A lot it will be this portion. This is the portion, a lot of. Now, when you talk about chocolate, then if you want to count, then it says, you don't say two chocolates, three chocolates. But if you want to count, then will be a bar of chocolate, a loaf of bread, a box of cereal, milk. We know that we cannot say two milks, a carton of milk. If it's soup, a bowl of soup. Water is another liquid, so cannot be one, two, right? But you can count the specific quantities like a bottle of water, same case, orange juice, a glass of juice, honey also cannot be two honeys, three honey, right? But we can count the specific uh, portions that you have, the quantities like a jar of honey. Also ice cream, ice cream is not countable because remember that it melts, right? So it becomes or it transforms in liquid but we can count the portions. A cone of ice cream. In this case, three cones of ice cream. So all of these ones are uncount nouns. Counts, we cannot count, with the exception that you can use a specific quantities like this or certain quantifiers. For example, we have, there is a lot of bread in the kitchen. My quantifier here is a lot of. Remember, a lot of you can use to express a big amount or a big quantity of the noun that you want to express. Now, why do you use the is? Oh, because remember that bread is not countable. Exception will be there are two loaves of bread, like this quantity, right? Remember, a loaf is different than a lot of. This one will be like the portion that you have. Is this a specific piece of bread? Also, when you talk about, when we say pan de caja, we have a slices, like the small portions that we divide to make the sandwiches, but also there is a loaf of bread. It's all the pack, all the portion is a loaf of bread. Now, let's see the other case. There is a little milk in the refrigerator. Milk is not countable. So we cannot say there are two milks, there are three milks, or there are a lot of milks. But my quantifier here is a liter. When you use a liter, remember it's only with a noun, we cannot count. So it's a small quantity of milk. Existency of a small quantity. Let's see the next one. We are going to read this one. Selena, can you please read the next one? There are There are three cones uh -huh. of ice cream. Excellent. Thank you. If you observe here, when we say three cones, we are counting the portions, but we are not counting the specific noun. Incorrect to say three ice creams. In an informal uh, way, people use it, but it's not correct grammatically. You are counting here, but now you have a specific quantity. So that's why you have a specific number. You don't have a quantifier. That quantifier substitutes the specific quantity. What about the next one? Let's see. Um, Daisy, read the next one, please. There are. There are a few cones of ice cream. Thank you. All right. Notice that here, a few is my quantifier, substitutes the specific quantity like three. 
Now, notice here that a few is a small quantity. When you talk about three, it's not a big quantity. So it's not correct to use a lot of or many, right? But we can use a few. Why we use a few? Because here we are counting the cones of ice cream. We are not counting the ice cream, but the portions that we have. Questions so far? Is that clear? No questions? All right, then let's go ahead here. This is only introduction of this, just to remember what nouns are counts, which others are possible to use of counts. Now, let's specify again about the quantifiers. We can also formulate questions, but now with how many, you can investigate the quantity of a noun that is possible to count. So it's possible to say one, two, three, but also with a general quantifier. And how much investigates the quantity of a noun that we cannot count, we cannot say two or three. In the case of the count nouns, we have, are there many restaurants? So it's if, if in investigating if there is a big quantity of restaurants. Why do you use many? Oh, because the noun that you have after that is plural, is count noun. We know that restaurants are possible to count. They are places. Let's see the, all the possible answers. Yes, there are a lot. When you say, yes, there are a lot, you can finish here in a lot because here you can substitute. That is with the purpose or with the objective to eliminate repetition. So that is not necessary to say like this in the question. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot of restaurants. Or yes, there are many restaurants. That is okay. But in speaking, it's not necessary to repeat and repeat in English. If you use a lot, it's because it's implicit there that you're talking about a lot of restaurants. Another possibility would be there are a few. So there are some of them or there is a small quantity of them. Negative parts. No, there aren't many. So there is not a big quantity of restaurants. No, there aren't any. That's another case. Look at that here. If you say, no, there aren't any, that means zero, none. Or no, there are none. That's another possibility. Also, is referring to zero, zero restaurants there. Now, it notice here, the question is in a yes, no form. Yes, no question. In the other one, you investigate the quantity. So you formulate the question like this. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. So you begin with the phrase of existency. You need to give like the quantity that they're investigating there. This one is with the count nouns. Do you have any question with the count nouns? How to investigate quantity? Okay, then let's see with the non-count nouns as a yes, no question. Is there much crime? Remember that crime is not countable. It's the same as pollution, contamination, traffic. You cannot say two crimes, right? Unless that you talk about a specific illegal things like assaults. You can count the assaults. If it's affirmative, yes, there's a lot. Again, omit repetition. It's not necessary to say, yes, there's a lot of crime. You can finish until a lot. And it's implicit that you're talking about a lot of crime. There's a liter, all right? A liter because you're referring that it's a, a small quantity of crime. Negatives, no, there isn't much. Remember that much, you use it for negatives and questions. It cannot be for a, uh, an affirmative form. 
No, there isn't any. That means, wow, it's a really nice place. There isn't any. So there is zero crime in that place. That is a dream of place to live. Or no, there's none. Zero cases of crime. Now, in the case of investigating the quantity of something you cannot count, then we use how much? How much crime is there? What is the quantity of crime that is six in that place? There's a lot of crime. Remember here, you can use there's, but this one is a contraction. You can also say there is a lot of crime. Questions about this? All right. Why, Tell me. When we use how much in the answers, we use a lot of crime and not only there's a lot of. Oh, because here also you can use like this. If you say how much crime is there, there's a lot. What happened is that is optional. You can repeat the noun or you can finish in the quantifier. But both forms are okay. You can use like here. Uh, there's a lot that is implicit. You don't need to repeat it. You can omit, but this is optional. So it's like here, if you say, is there much crime? You can say, yes, there's a lot of crime. Same here. How much crime is there? There's a lot. The two forms will be okay to use them. That's to omit the repetition. Just that this one is complete answer, including the noun. Any other question? <clears throat> we got some exercises. Let's go in there. Some examples here. It says, according to the pictures we got here, are there many pharmacies in your town? What is the quantifier that we have in the question? Eric, what is the quantifier in the question? Pharmacies, many pharmacies. Many, uh -huh. only the quantifier is many, is the word that indicates quantity. Pharmacies is the noun, right? That you're given as plural. That's right, good one. So are there many pharmacies in your town? Yes, there are. This will be a short answer in affirmative. Now, you can also include the quantifier that you want to express. Yes, there are a lot. Now, let's see in the other case. These ones are yes, no questions. Let's see, Wendy. Wendy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you please read the second question? Are there okay. are there a lot a, a lot, lot of, of a lot of bookstores in book the stores? city? Bookstores. Bookstores. Okay. Are there a lot of bookstores in the city? Excellent. Very good. What is the quantifier in the question? Books, bookstores. No. Quantifier. What word indicates a quantity? No count. A lot of. A lot of, yes. Yeah, remember that my quantifiers are these words. These words. They indicate a quantity, but it's general. It doesn't indicate a specific number there, but it's a quantifier. So let's go ahead. This one is a lot of. Now, the noun that you're referring to is bookstores, but... It's necessary that it's plural because you have plural case. It's are there. That's good. Thank you. Fatima, can you read the answer, please? Oh, yes. There are many downtown. That's all right. Very good. Thank you. Notice that here you don't say, oh, yes, there are a lot of bookstores in the city. That is also correct to use it. But if you want to vary to make it different, and it's also the same case. A lot of can be substituted by many. It's referring to a big quantity of that. 
Let's go on the next one. Daniela, read the next one, please. Are there a few books in that bookstore? Very good, thanks. What is the quantifier? A few. A few, excellent, that is correct. Now, we use a few because we are referring to a small quantity of books. Now, notice that here, if you look at the picture, there are no a few books, right? A few, it will be small quantity. So you can give the answer. How's the answer? William, read it, please. No. William? No, they aren't. In this no, one, this in, one. Uh, no, okay. in fact. No, in fact, there are a lot. A lot, very good, thank you. Now, here is investigating if there is a small quantity of books and you say, no, in fact, there are a lot. That you finish in the a lot, you don't need to write like off because you are not mentioning the noun again. It's implicit there. No need to say, no, in fact, there are a lot of books in that bookstore. You don't need to repeat again. And it's okay to use it like that. Do you remember what is in fact? It's like to say in, in effect. Uh, exactly, in yes. In effect, de hecho, in realidad. So you know that in fact, there are a lot of books in that bookstore. That's all right. Thank you guys. That's good. Brenda, are you there, Brenda? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you please read the next one? Are there many medications? Medications? Medication. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Diana, are you there? Diana Jang Millet. David? David Moises? Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. Can you please read it? There. There are a few. There are a few. Very good. So there is a small quantity. Notice the picture here that we have some medications, right? And there are not a lot of medications. We have just four types of medications. So there are a few. We can count these ones. Let's see on the next one. Let's see, um, Ever. Ever, are you present? Roberto Carlos? Hello. Yes, okay. Let's see this one. Are there? <clears throat> are there any aspirins? Aspirins? Aspirins. Good. Read the answer, please. No. No, there aren't any. Uh -huh. Or that's another option. No. No, there aren't. No. There none. are. There are Not none. Are none. None. Very good. Thank you, Roberto. That's good. So in here, you're asking the question, are there any aspirins? You're investigating if there is some quantity of this type of pills. And if the answer, you can say, no, there aren't any. That means there is nothing. There are zero aspirins there. Or no, there are none. Also, it means nothing. Zero aspirins. What about if we ask with how many? Sandy? Yes. Yes, Sandy. Okay. Can you please read this one? Now use how many? How many medications, medications? are there? Medications. Medications are there. Are there. Thank you. So how many medications are there? How many? Sulma? Count them. Hello? Hello? How many medications are there? You need to count them, right? Um, okay. Um, soft syrup is one. Cold, cold syrup. Yeah. Uh, and eye drop. Eye drop is another medication. Eye drop. Soft drops. Is another medication. We got three. 
And then we got uh, ointment. Ointment. Very good. So how many medications are there? Ointment. Four, right? Four medications. Yes. yes, that's good. So how do you respond? There is or there are? There are. There yeah. are, right? Because medications you can count. So there are four medications. Good one. Okay, let's see about the next one. Continue then, Margarita. Can you read the next question, please? How many? How many cow drops are there in the box? Great. Imagine the quantity because here we cannot see like the specific quantity. You say the quantity. Betsaida, you say the quantity. There are All right. 20 okay. cough drops. <laughs> That's very good. There are 20 cough drops. That's all right. Good. Also, you could finish until there are 20, as is implicit, right? So it's optional. If you want to give complete answer, that is okay. Now, this one is in the case of the plural nouns or the nouns that is possible to count. Do you have questions with this? Teacher, en esa, en esa última podría responderse, por ejemplo, there are a few cough drops. Exactly, yes, because it's a plural noun. There are a few, even a few is correct. Now, another quantifier you could also use. Look, she gave the answer of 20. So that is a few or a lot of? Can I say there are none? That's correct. If there are none, you can also say like this. There are none or there aren't any. In the case that zero cough drops, then you can say there aren't any or there are none, and you finish there. Now, if you want to substitute the specific quantity, you could also say a lot of or many. There are a lot. It's implicit, so you don't need to repeat again. There are a lot of cost drops, or there are many. There are many. So you substitute the cases there. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, now this one is for plural cases. Now let's go ahead with the non count nouns. In the case we use now, we cannot count like one, two, three, but we use different quantifiers. Is there much money in a bank? Normally, yes, right? Of course. So you say, of course, there is a lot of money in a bank. Now, is it possible to use here? Of course, there is much money in a bank. Is it correct? If I use, there's much money? No. No? Uh, Why not? Because you said that we use much for interrogative and for negative. Exactly, that is correct. Thank you. So much is not for affirmative, but we can substitute using a lot of. That's great. Okay, let's go ahead on the next part. Maria, read the next one, please. Is there? Is there much food during lunch? During, uh -huh, during, during lunch? lunch in that restaurant? Very good. That's nice. Now, what is the quantifier in the question? Much. Much. Excellent. So it's not many food, right? Say much mm -hmm. food. So food. investigate if there is a big quantity of food during lunch in that restaurant. The answer okay. is no. There isn't. That is a short answer. No, there isn't. Or there's a little food. There's a small quantity of food. Thank you. Good. Wilfredo, continue. 
Is there a lot of pollution in the world? That's really good. Thank you. What's pollution? Contamination. Uh, contamination. Exactly. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. It's synonym of contamination. You can say contamination or you can say pollution, but it's more common to use pollution. We know pollution is not countable. We don't say to pollution. A question. Right? Tell me. Pollution is not speaking about the smoke. Actually, a smoke has to do with contamination because all the smoke that produce, for example, the factories, that is contamination. The smoke that produces also the cigarettes is also, they contaminate. So it's part of pollution. But those are like the, um, what is the root, the base, the origin of the contamination? It's the smoke, the factories, the buses also, they contaminate. But pollution is like what we have in the world. In the city, we have a lot of pollution, actually. So that is the noun. It's not countable. That's why you use here a lot of. And there are some places that is a little pollution. Very, very right minimum quantity of places that they have little pollution actually so what's the answer that we have daniela can you read the answer yes unfortunately there's a lot there's a lot thank you so we say unfortunately there's a lot it's implicit there so you don't need to repeat yes unfortunately there's a lot of pollution no need to repeat you can finish using a lot so if you observe here a lot, we don't use of. Why we don't use of? Because it's in the end. And you're omitting the noun again. Don't use, don't repeat the noun again. So you use a lot. Let's see with the text part. Brenda, can you continue? Is there? Is there a lot, a lot of violence? Lot of violence? 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 violence in your neighborhood right thank you my quantifier is a lot of right a lot of. we can use a lot of remember this one is flexible this quantifier but it's referring only to a big quantity daisy can you please continue the answer no there's none it's a quiet place to live. To live. Very good. That's nice. So that means there's zero violence in that place. That would be nice to live there. Right. So quiet place, remember, is like a, a calm place, a pacific place. No problem there of violence or delinquency. Let's see now with how much investigate the quantity and now that we cannot count. Let's continue then. Eric, are you there, Eric? Yes. Yes. Can you please? How much? How much pollution is there in the city? Thank you. That's good. Continue, Marvin, please. There is a lot. There is a lot of pollution. Very good. Thanks. You have two options. You want to repeat the noun, then you use the quantifier complete. Or if not, you finish until the quantifier. There's a lot. That is implicit to say there's a lot of pollution in the city, right? Or there's a lot of pollution in a complete manner. What's the other case? Diana, are you there? Diana Jane Millet? Margarita? How much? How much money is there in your bank account? Very good. Thank you. All right. Give an answer. Wendy, are you present? Yes, teacher. Yes. Go ahead. Give an answer, please. Quantity of money. Uh, how much? How much money is there in your bank how account? Confess. <laughs> how much money is there in, in your, your bank, bank account? account? So you need to give a quantity. You use there is or there are? There is. Okay, very good. There is. Or you can also use a contraction, right? There's. You can use a quantifier, 
or you can use a specific quantity. Okay. There is much. Remember, much is not for affirmatives. Ah, yes. There's a lot of. Yes, teacher. There is uh -huh. a lot of. All right. A lot. A lot yes. of. Yes. A lot of what? A lot of bank. Money. Money. Okay. Investigating the quantity of money. There's a lot of money in my bank account. My bank. In my bank account. That's all right. Great. Thanks. Now, you can also make it short to say only, there's a lot. And you fit. And here. can I say just, there is a lot of it? Oh, sure. Yes, that's correct. Because it is referring to the money. There's a lot of it. It's not very usual to use it, but it's correct to go ahead and use it. There's a lot of it. That it is referring to money. Questions? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to continue with more exercises, more questions. And we need to pass the list, guys. So let me know that you are present, please. And we begin with Claudia. Claudia Carolina. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Raquel Esther. Raquel Esther. I remember Raquel. I saw her. Marvin Vitalicio. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Daisy Estefania. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Diana Jan Millet. Present. Thank you. Fatima Larisa. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Julia Margarita. Presente. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Adamaris. Thank you, Wendy. William okay. Alex. Thank you so much. William Alexander. I'm here. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Present, Miss. Thank you, Maria. Wilfredo Alberto. Present. Thank you. Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you so much. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Jennifer Saraí. Present teacher. Thanks, Jennifer. Freddy Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Freddy. Betsaida Yasmin. I'm here, teacher. Thanks. Estela Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. David Moises. <clears throat> Present. Thanks. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you very much. Ever Yaciel. Thank you. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Eric Ronaldo. I'm present, Miss. Thank you, Eric. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you so much. Selena Yamilet. Present. Thank you so much, Selena. All right, guys. Thank you. Let's continue then here. We still have some parts. Now, let's continue here. Let's ask some other questions. You're going to formulate others. Formulate with are there, and you use a different quantifier. William, can you begin? Formulate another question and try to use are there many, and you are going to formulate the questions to Margarita. Margarita, you're going to answer. 
Sorry, teacher. William, you formulate the question and Margarita answer. Okay. Questions about the you examples use, that... Uh -huh, or different things. For example, if you say, are there many uh, schools in your neighborhood? Okay. Are there many gas stations in your in your neighborhood? Yeah. Very good. Gas stations. Needs to be plural. There is only one gas station in my Very neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. That's good. Brenda. Brenda, are you there? Yes. yes. Very good. You are yes. going to formulate the question. Please formulate the question now using how many. And Marvin is going to answer. Marvin, you're here, right? Yes, I'm here. Yes, all right, thank you. Marvin, how many medications are there? Hmm. Try to formulate a different one, a different thing. Like, for example, oh, okay. how many restaurants are there in your city, in your okay. neighborhood, near your house? Okay. Hello, Marvin, how many pupuseria are there? Pupuserías, plural. There are many pupuserías. Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you repeat, please? There are many pupuserías in my neighborhood. Very good job. Thank you. That's good. Okay. And Eric. Yes. Hey, Eric. Okay. You're going to formulate the questions to Freddy. Freddy, are we here? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you. Eric, begin, please. You are going to use how many? Hi, Freddy. How many? Use how places. many mm -hmm. fruits are there? How many? Sorry? Fruits. What do you mean? Frutas. Oh, fruits. 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 Very good. Thank you. How many fruits are there? Invent the quantity. Can be a lot of, can be five, can be 10, can be many, a few. There are uh, five fruits. There are five fruits. Very good. Thank you. That's right. Now let's continue formulating a question. Now, wait, is there much? Is there a lot of? Jennifer? Jennifer Sarai, Andrea. Yes. Hey, Andrea. You mm -hmm. formulate the question with "Is there much or is there a lot of?" And mm -hmm. Claudia, you're going to answer. Is yes? okay. Is there much food in your kitchen? Mm -hmm. Okay, in your kitchen. Claudia. Claudia, can you listen? Roberto? Pablo? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, repeat it, please. Okay, is there much food in your kitchen? Thank you. Mm, the, there's a... Uh, can I use lot of? Yeah, sure. Because uh, there, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Very good. That's nice. Great. Excellent job. That's good. Now let's use how much. Estela, are you there? Estela? No. Wendy? Yes, teacher. Wendy, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, Wendy, you're going to ask Betsaida. Betsaida? Yes, oui. right? Yes, yeah. you are there. Um, <laughs> I hear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, formulate it with how much? How much? Mm -hmm. uh, how much cars in Remember, the... cars is countable. Ah, with yes. cars, you use how many? You can use how much pollution, how much delinquency, crime. How much parking in their okay. neighborhood. 
That's good. How much parking is there in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood. Right. Good one. No, they aren't. So now just say, like, as is how much, you cannot answer a yes or no, because it's a specific. So there, there isn't. Are, oh, there isn't. Uh -huh, good. Oh, there isn't. There isn't none. because it's not countable. Or there there is isn't. None. Excellent. There That's is all right. There is none or there isn't any or there isn't much parking. Also, right? Because they are negative and they are not count nouns. Great job, guys. Great. Okay. Questions? All right. Uh, William, you have a question, right? Answer in the coffee. Oh, that one is in the platform, right, William? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the homework. I, I have problem with that. I yeah. tried uh, in a lot of ways, but I don't, I cannot answer. Yeah. In this question, it will be in the coffee. They do. Ah, will be. It's a question. So is do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Do you ever like this? Do you ever drink? Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? That will be like the order. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Yeah, because they are in disorder. They are scrambled. Like this. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's true. It. Uh, my, my problem is that I was at the two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. But thank yes. you, teacher. You are very welcome. My pleasure. Any question, guys? Any other question? All right. All clear, teacher. I'm sorry? All clear? Yes. All right. Thank you, Then Remember to work in the platform. We have more exercises on the platform. And they are going to check it tomorrow. Okay. And have you worked on the exercises? I sent you some videos. Ya vieron los videos que les he enviado. Y unos ejercicios de agenda web. They are also... I, have, I have another question, teacher. Excuse me. I know that. It, it is in the, the place, but I was, I, I did the, the pre-intermediate one, mm -hmm. and they told me that I was receiving the, uh, the certificate. Ah, okay. Or for email, for email, okay. and I, nev I never received it. You never receive it? Nobody receive it? Nadie lo ha recibido. The intermediate one, certificate. No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to ask. Okay, I'm going to ask them because they say that they need to have like everything complete. They, for, they are uh, checking that all the information is complete. But I'm going to ask them. Yeah, yeah. I, I was checking and all my information is, is completed. It's okay. Okay. Let me ask uh, them again. Le voy a preguntar de thank nuevo. you, thank you, mañana. teacher. Thank you, Sorry guys. Sorry to, to ask that. That's <laughs> okay. No, it's important. It's important to ask there. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a very good night. Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Have a thank good night. Good night. Thank, thank you. you. Good, good, night. Night. Good, night, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night Take care. Good night. Thank you.